Yeah, showing up. Okay, all good now. Mm. So um, I, I was saying from, ma from macro aims and issues, there are some things I want you to also uh, pay attention to, okay? But also just a, a few final words. I know final words means end of lesson. I've not really started the lesson yet, but final words in terms of how you approach your case study is important. Okay, some of you have already gone through your, your paper two. Okay, finished paper two already. Huh? So now it's uh, paper one. Others have not even started on econs. That's fine. Okay, when you look at paper one, okay, a few thoughts uh, you may have as, as of now is time management. Okay, uh, not enough practice on full papers. Okay, on full papers. And do I focus more on prelim or A-level questions? Okay. So these are some things that are probably causing through your mind as you're preparing for the finals, right? Not finals, are prelims. So um, I would like to say a lot of this can be answered through how we approach paper one, okay? So in terms of your paper one preps, okay? Paper one preps are a little bit different from your essays, okay? You don't have to copy this down. I just want to put down some thoughts. It's different from essays because a lot is contingent on your extracts. And let me be very clear. Extracts are, okay, which are almost unpredictable. You, you cannot spot the extract, okay, which are very hard to spot, okay? It's not possible to spot uh, what's going to come out. Even if it comes out, any nuance, any slight change in messaging will also mean something different, okay? So no point... Um, I think if you are thinking of exposure to past year questions in of what the extracts were about is uh, plainly uh, pointless. It's simply pointless. We don't want to do that. Okay. So if this is pointless, then this is going to point back to what to do before and what to do during the paper. It should be compatible, you know. If you find yourself practicing a lot of papers, right? But when you are actually sitting for your prelims, those experiences are not really helping you except to give you a sense that, yeah, I need to watch my time. The last time I didn't meet my time requirements, that doesn't really help much. The last time you didn't meet your time requirements, maybe because there was a very hard question that held you back. This time around, it could be different. So there are a lot of variables, right? But what is your, uh, if you like, what's your independent variable? Uh, it's really to capture key answering techniques. And when you look at key answering techniques, where do you see them in your uh, actual paper? It's really going to resonate with your question page. Okay, so let me just very briefly say how to prepare. Okay, hello. How to prepare is what I have been doing with your uh, so far. Okay, so how to prepare, there are some general points. There are some topical.